An effort that's been in the works for a few years to honor those who served has now reached a milestone by having its first installment. Twin States News' Donisha Branham was there for the arrival of an aircraft and spoke to a few veterans. Today, the Veterans Memorial Park welcomed home Meridian's jet. The jet was escorted by the Worldwide Aircraft Recovery Team. This will be the first phase of the Veterans Memorial Park. Hey, we're out here to welcome Meridian's jet uh, and our F-4C Phantom II aircraft back to Meridian. Uh, this jet was uh, stationed here at Meridian Key Field from September 1979 until September 1991. And as part of our uh, Veterans Memorial Park project, we were able to secure this aircraft with the help of the city of Meridian. Veterans Memorial Park has been in the works for the past four years, and today was a great milestone for the Memorial Park. And so this is significant here that uh, they're bringing this F-4, which has a great history here at Key Field, back to be a, a monument to all the men and women of not only the guard here at Key Field, but the military in East Mississippi. The president of the East Mississippi Veterans Foundation says that the arrival of the aircraft is a part of the first phase of the park and explains what it represents. And it will be put on the pedestal that is uh, already in place and waiting and be put on display to honor all the service members from the Meridian East Mississippi area. and. Uh, honor a special way all the uh, men and women who have served in the Meridian Air Guard unit since it was established back in September 1939. A fellow veteran who was a part of the escort team to bring the aircraft to its final resting place had this to say of the process. It's taken us a long time and a lot of money. Uh, this move alone probably cost us around $70,000 and we had to raise all that money and thankfully from donations uh, from all across the United States we were able to finally get the jet here and this is something that we're really proud of. The plane will take five to seven days to reassemble followed by a company coming in to restore the aircraft. Donnie Shabranham, Twin States News, Meridian. 